please welcome Dr. Mike Dorkin. Uh, I, I wanted to say a few words about Sanaz uh, to introduce her to you um, because she is the, uh, she's the engine uh, within the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Um, we, we got to know Sanaz a couple of years ago uh, and since that time she's dedicated every single hour of every single day of every single week to uh, helping support the development of uh, the small team that has created uh, today's um, foundation. Admittedly, she's got the very old crinkly uh, Professor Michael Ramsey uh, at her side, uh, but uh, she is our future. Um, she gave a, a stunning uh, talk last year um, about her work, uh, and so we, we felt it's really appropriate that Dinox, Dr. Sanaz Masumi gives uh, another uh, conversation with us today. So can you please welcome to the stage Dr. Sanaz Masumi. Thank you. Please welcome Dr. Sanaz Masumi. That's wonderful. Good morning and welcome to the 11th Annual World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit. I'm Sanaz Masumi, Chief Operating Officer at the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. I hope that you found the program insightful we are committed to continuing to deliver impactful sessions where patient safety experts and thought leaders come together to drive meaningful change. Our mission is clear, to amplify the voices of patients and their families, develop actionable evidence-based practices, and collaborate with hospitals and healthcare systems globally to eliminate preventable harm. We have bold ambitions, and we believe that if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? As someone once told me, the battles we don't fight today become the battles our children must face tomorrow. I would rather fight now, ensuring that the legacy we pass on is a healthcare system that prioritizes safety above all else. To sustain and expand the vital work of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, we've had to innovate, to grow our programs and broaden our impact in the pursuit of zero harm. We are deeply grateful to our incredible sponsors and contributors as we embark on our new journey. With that in mind, we have transitioned to a membership-based model. We offer free membership to patients, family members, caregivers, and healthcare professionals directly affected by medical errors who share our passion for transforming healthcare into a safer system for both patients and providers. These individuals are the bedrock of our movement and our supporters. In addition, we have introduced two premium membership tiers, advocates and champions. Advocates are those who seek to engage with actionable evidence-based practices, participate in Project Zero Initiative, and benefit from academic and clinical workshops, webinars, along with other exclusive perks. Our top tier, Champion, is designed for change agents, those who are committed to integrating best safety practices into every facet of healthcare operations. Champions gain access to an exclusive forum that we have designed and developed to address sensitive adverse events. This forum provides a unique opportunity to consult with world-renowned patient safety leaders, clinicians, researchers, fostering the exchange of insight and the creation of transformative solutions grounded in evidence-based practices and implementation science. This forum offers expert-led discussions where members have direct access to patient safety leaders for real-time insight and solutions. It fosters a collaborative environment where professionals from diverse healthcare backgrounds can share their experiences. And with a strong focus on adverse events, the forum includes targeted discussions, case studies, actionable solutions, addressing the most critical aspects of patient safety. Champions benefit from real-time problem-solving capabilities, allowing them to implement solutions quickly and effectively. This platform also ensures confidential and anonymous posting, 
creating a safe space for open and honest dialogue without a fear of judgment. It is user-friendly, easy to navigate, it doesn't require any software application, and it doesn't have a learning curve. This forum offers valuable professional networking opportunities, enabling champions to build relationships, to collaborate on projects, to expand their influence on patient safety field. In today's complex healthcare landscape, the need for a dedicated forum focused on patient safety has never been more critical. Adverse events continue to challenge healthcare systems worldwide. Traditional communication channels often lack that immediacy and depth required to address the rapidly evolving challenges in our field of patient safety. Our forum fills that gap by offering a specialized platform where experts and practitioners can connect, exchange ideas, and collaborate on strategies that lead to tangible improvements. The forum fosters a culture of continuous learning and improvement that is essential for reducing preventable harm and advancing the quality of care. All the details about membership tiers are available on our website. I strongly encourage you to explore them. And while we are here, please feel free to approach Dr. Ramsey and me for any questions or thoughts you may have. This is a pivotal moment for our organization as we enter a new phase dedicated to ensuring that safety improvements we discuss translate into daily practice for nurses, physicians, and all healthcare professionals across the globe. This shift allows the Patient Safety Movement Foundation to deliver even greater impact in the world of patient safety. I'm confident that joining our membership movement will be a decision you will not regret. But to make this even more convenient, we are offering a $100 gift card to anyone who signs up for our champion membership by this coming Wednesday. It may sound promotional, but I truly believe in the value that we have created. We conducted extensive research and we realized there is nothing quite like this forum available for patient safety professionals currently. Whether you're a patient safety officer, chief quality officer, chief nursing officer, chief executive officer, nurse or physician leader, patient safety researcher, healthcare executive and administrator, quality improvement specialist, healthcare policy maker, healthcare educator, frontline healthcare worker, healthcare academician, high reliability expert, medical device technologist, or healthcare consultant. This forum is for you. Developing this forum was a unique journey that has profoundly shaped my perspective on patient safety and the remarkable achievements that are possible and the extraordinary uh, breakthroughs that can be materialized. Reaching zero, it is possible. Please take a moment to explore the membership options and connect with us while we're here. We value your input and we're eager to have you as part of our community. Enjoy the rest of the program. Please take photos with our backdrop in the exhibition room. If you share them on social media, please use hashtag ZeroHarm2030. We also have a survey on a Slido. The QR code is on the back of your name tags. We would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to complete it. Um, well, thank you very much. But before I leave the stage, I would like to introduce our first keynote speaker this morning. He's a physician and author with a unique combination of government and private sector experience that provides him with an exceptional perspective on healthcare services, wellness, clinical trials, information technology, artificial intelligence, and medical consumerism. He is the chief medical officer at WebMD and leads effort to develop and expand strategic partnerships that create meaningful change around the important and timely health issues. He's an expert on changing nature of search through his work in refining digital platforms from simply providing content to instead playing a pivotal role in connecting to care. He's been a leading voice when it comes to health topics, consistently being named as one of the top 20 influencers.